The Gulf Island Film and Television School, like many things in life, was an accident. I was contacted by Macmillan Blodell, one of their sales representatives, uh, shortly after I uh, got out of jail. Up, I was doing some time up in um, uh, Nanaimo, at the Nanaimo Correctional Center, for protesting the logging uh, practices of McMillan Bladell of a click what sound. So after I did my time, I got home and I got a call from McMillan Bladell asking me if I'd like to buy their logging camp. And I assumed this was a prank call. Um, but as it turned out, it wasn't a prank call. I'm an entrepreneur. I hung up the phone and thought, well, sure, I'll buy a logging camp. So that's what we got. We bought the logging camp. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I was a filmmaker of sorts. Excuse me for one moment. Hi, film school. Yeah. And then we're like, we'll have them run up to you to the camera. All right. Cool footage and the actual people and the audio are. Right. I don't have to have the same clothes this time, right? How is that? The thing that you. excited about it does that all make sense so the way we've been able to survive is i i was a property a house owner on galliano island for the last 20 years and my house continues to increase in value and as it goes up in value i borrow more money every year i go deeper and deeper in debt but i keep my school running year after year Action! What are you talking about? You killed her! Yeah. Do you know that, Emily? Why would you know that? Know what? That she got hit in the head with the rock. How would you know that? Cut. What do you guys think? Why is he getting so fat? How about leaning on that thing here? If you lean on, on that wooden railing just for... Instead of doing a full shot and then yeah. zooming in on, on uh, his face, we could maybe start up and then... Go also, go also! Go, you can do it, buddy! You can do it! You can do it! Oh, did you, are you finished? No, it's... Uh, Why are you texting on your phone? Dude, I'm just... Why are you trying to look so cool? Dude, just back off, okay? That was awesome. When we started, we were behind um, in our in our gear and today we're behind in our gear and it doesn't matter because the gear is just a um, It's just a tool. That's not it's 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 really about how to tell stories It's always been the foundation of our school and many people today think that they're filmmakers Because they have a camera or they have an edit suite and they've made you know 50 YouTube films I look at these people and I look at their work and I'm like, they don't have a clue about storytelling. But what's interesting, it's a new standard. So uh, there are millions of these people who haven't not a clue and they've kind of, they've invented a new, um, a new benchmark. I don't find the stories very well told, but I'm not from that paradigm. So I, I don't think it's really up to me to say, we do a, we do a YouTube, uh, program here at our school and the kids are so excited it's unbelievable it's infectious and I look at the stuff they make and it's junk but they love it and their friends love it and they get it on the inner tube and millions of people watch it she wasn't being such a dumb bitch oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm gonna let it drip down here <laughs> Okay, Thomas, actors, yep. action. You know, my, my background in filmmaking was activism. It was Central America. It was during the uh, Contra Wars, the Dirty Wars. That's why I became a filmmaker. And I felt that, that people 
normal people needed to tell stories, tell their own stories, and particularly those people who never have had a voice. And you look at um, First Nations in Canada, and I, I, my personal belief is that we have screwed the First Nations culture and the First Nations people. Um, and I think, in my little way, I can help give First Nations people a voice. So we, we have huge scholarships this spring break. Any First Nations kid that wanted to come, I paid their full scholarship to come. Because um, I can do it. It's very cool. Uh, one night I was playing my uh, bongo drum along with um, one of my favorite bands, Sant Santana, and I had this flash. I should start a film school for teenagers. And they'll make, a, they'll make films in a week. And um, I called my friends who were filmmakers, who were my neighbors, many filmmakers, unfortunately, on Galliano. And we had a meeting, and they said, George, you're nuts. It'll never work. You can't do this in a week. But this was right at the advent of digital technology, 1995. It was just starting to happen. You could never have done this with the old tape-based uh, analog world or film, uh, shooting film because of the, of the time it takes to, to develop the film. So we started 19 years ago. We've made 3,000 films. We've won over 300 international film awards. We've graduated 7,000 students. And it's been quite a remarkable journey. What's my attitude? You're, you're kind of like, like caring, nice. nice gifts camp leader. I'm a nice guy at this one. Yeah. Okay, got it.